case. Oh yeah, okay, we're starting the second uh, video. Um, is it starting? I'm confused. Anyways, um, we're gonna need to, you're gonna need the length if you have a different size bead. That's why the measurement's there. And if there's waste, I'm sorry, I can't help it. Okay, and we're gonna give yourself some like working room length because we can always shorten it. We're gonna snip it there about the bead. Okay, so I had lots extra on the one wire. And then I take your chain nose pliers and um, bend it in there. See how it locked in there? And that's gonna keep it locked and in shape. And that's what it looks like and I'm gonna level this out just to give a more accented look I'm not gonna mar this I'm just gently twisting it there like that pushing it over it moved on me Now I'm going to um, tighten these up a little bit because we want everything to be tight and secure. So now we need to, um, we're going to move this wire up because it's going to be used later on. And now we're going to do the weaving on the bottom two wires. And we're going to take this weaving wire, bring it up through the center. And it's going to be tangled, of course. There we go. And we want to start with wrapping five times around the bottom wire. So we actually need it to get in between. And um, you know how I always have my wires with the top one shorter than the bottom one? I am going to um, take these two wires and snip them so that we have that little bit of reference like that. Okay. So the first thing we're going to do is go in between the two wires like that and we're going to wrap five times around that bottom wire. And so it's, it's a little bit more difficult because we have the length. See, I'm going like that. And it's going to take time. We need to wrap five times around there. We're doing a 5-3 type weave on these two. And it's much harder to keep it neat. And the beginning part is always the hardest. Now I will support the wires with my nails right where I'm working so that it doesn't bend. And I'm talking, I'm talking the 20 gauge wire. Okay, so that's five. And I'm going to push them together so they're nice and neat. And now we're going to wrap twice, I mean three times, um, around both wires. We're going to try and put those wires together as close as possible. One, 
two. Three, push them together. And then I'm going to go one, and that should be able to push that further. Okay, now I'm working really tight at this point just because. Um, if you don't, it's going to be really messy. So pull tight with each wrap, especially right at the beginning, because I find that's when um, it's going to get the messiest. Okay, so I'm supporting this wire, the 20 gauge wire, and I'm pulling this tight, really tight, lots of tension, and that keeps it neat. And this is where your fingers can get sore. I think that's five. Okay, and now I'm going to push them in. Okay, see how that's nice and neat? That's what we want. Now we want three times around. Now, with my other heart, I did three inches of this weaving. I don't think we're gonna need a full three inches, but you know, we snip it off. So you're better, it's better to get it all done and snip off some weaving than uh, having to do your wrap and then find out you don't have enough weaving. So better to have too much than too little, I say. So, oops. There, get in there. So one. Two. Lots of tension. Three. And don't forget to support your wires with your other finger. Four. Count out loud. Your brain acknowledges it when you count out loud. Okay, so that's the weave we're doing. Five wraps, three on the double, and then five single, three, five single. Okay, very important to get the counting right. Do three inches of weaving, and I'll see you back in a bit. Okay, I'm back, and my fingers are sore. Um, this is two and three quarter inches and because uh, this one's a smaller heart I think that's going to be enough my weaving wire I guess I could have done right full three length three inches of uh, weaving uh, I want to remind you that I push it together each pattern with this because it gets really really tough to do and uh, so the next step is we're going to make a loop but I've noticed that with uh, all the oh okay it's not so bad I, did, I guess that's wiggly I never noticed that before what I want you to do is now oh we're gonna get this trimmed off we don't have to do anything more than that but that's gonna make it a world of easiness better <laughs> I can't talk it's late at night sorry okay so we want to have it arch like that because then we're gonna um, then we're going to try and follow the pad the curve of the heart okay and we're gonna make a loop and wrap back okay so we want to then slowly curve it to the inside of the heart. Remember this stuff is easy to work with. And if this is your first time working with weaving, um, this is a challenging project. So 
I was really concerned about doing this one on video because um, it's it is one of my more difficult projects okay now I've gotten the shape of the heart quite nicely and now we want to make a circle or close to a circle as possible and I'm doing it all freehand so I'm supporting this because it is nicely round there from the heart and, and then we're gonna see it was just barely enough So if you weren't sure yours is enough, you shouldn't trim yours yet, I guess. But it's just, go ahead and do the full three inches and you'll have peace of mind. Okay, I think I, now that's nice and round. So I'm going to support it with my fingers and bend this up just ever so much to try and get that circle look. That's pretty close. I'd say that's good. Now I'm going to make this level again. And everything we add on to it, it's going to give it strength and help it stay level. Okay, so I'm bending it around. And I'm noticing that the weave ended right at the end. So I'm going to tuck this underneath. And I'm going to snip it off so that the end actually falls underneath. At least I'm hoping it will. Okay, so it doesn't poke anybody. Okay, got that. And that looks pretty good. Okay, so now the next step is to trim off these ends. Not too close to there, we want some uh, working space. So about there, remember, it's okay to be too long but not too short because we can always trim it up back. Okay. And then we're gonna take this and bend it down to touch itself, hopefully. Like that, so that you don't see it from the front. Then we gotta make sure it's nice and tucked in. So there's no pokey edges. Now I almost trimmed it too short. Like I actually moved the circle. How did I manage to do that? I have to push it back. Carefully, I've never done that one before. So I'm pushing it over. I have to make the circle a little bit smaller. Pushing it down. Yeah, my last one poked up a little bit and I had to very gently push it down. Okay, because you want it fairly level, like that. And now it's given, it's given this a little bit more strength. Okay, now what's left is the center wire. And First, we do a little swirl down here, a clockwise swirl, and it can go over top of the weaving a little bit. Not too big, not too high. And we want it to go like that. Okay. And then I want to do another swirl going counterclockwise here. 
because I want the beads to have a bit of a curve to them. Okay, so it's kind of got that right-handed curve and then right into a left-handed curve and then we want it to curve up to the center like that with beads on it. So the beads are going to fill up this space here. Okay, so we want, you never know how many beads you're going to need. So you just put on beads until it's fairly full. And there's no wrapping in between, they're just sitting in a row. So that's nice. All the hard stuff is done. We're actually doing, oh well, I, you might find, um, oh that bead's got a dimple. I'm going to pick a different bead. These little beads have diff uh, slightly variations of color as turquoise does. This one's a little bit darker and it goes a little bit lighter. I like that. That way you know it's real. Okay, now the curve is making it so it can't go down. And that's okay because then we use less beads. So I can't even get four on there. And the other one, the way it was, I got five. So that's okay. You go with the flow. So I'm going to take one bead off. Okay. And how did I do that? All right. Okay. So I'm going to go to the left side of the bale and we've got the front facing there and we're going to wrap it around we're making it strong doing this once and we do want to try and make it neat twice you might need three but this one only needs two and then we're going to make a spiral and normally I make a big spiral there, but because my bead went up so high, I'm going to be making a smaller spiral. I usually give an inch of uh, wire to make this spiral, but I need a smaller spiral. Um, so you might want an inch. I'm going to go three quarters of an inch for this one. Just because um, this bead is sitting up here normally. I have it sitting way down there, but it's still going to look good. You get, you know, I'm just showing you that we have to be flexible when we're making jewelry. Each one's different. So I'm going to trim it about three quarters of an inch, which is right there. So, if you've done many of my tutorials, you know that I always have, I don't think I have a piece of work that, well, very little that doesn't have spirals. So I take my chain nose pliers, and you need chain nose pliers with really tiny ends. And give it a nice tight little curve at the end. Crimp it down and crimp it up to get that round little bud. And that worked out perfect, especially behind the camera. I'm very thrilled. And then you twist it around and it does flatten your wire and that's okay. And I'm going to crimp that in. Because a flattened spiral is prettier, in my humble opinion.
and you just keep working it in until it will go in place and I bent the bell a little bit so you just bend it back and then you crimp it down flat carefully and center it hey and that was the perfect size okay it's done all you need to do is put your chain on it now okay well thank you for joining me and I well I should have planned more this is a should be a two-part movie I don't know if my phone did that or not it doesn't look like it did but in the end it always shows that it did so hopefully this is a one -er, but I'm guessing it's an a B video and thank you for joining me. God bless. And uh, take care of yourselves. Bye.